It's the holiday season. It is. Merry, you know, whatever you, whatever you observe and celebrate. Yeah, by the way, I, I made a really horrible comment last episode. What'd you say? I said, happy Savages Day in yeah. reference to Thanksgiving. Yeah. But what I didn't clarify is I've always viewed like the colonialism aspect as the savagery. Okay. So let's just make that clear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I see how that can be misconstrued. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Never mind the derogatory connotation. I had a lot of indigenous people hit me up, be like, "Hey, man, what the fuck do you mean by that?" <laughs> just straight off, straight. It was like the first thing that most was said that last thing, episode too. Just yeah, most offensive thing opening. that could be said. Oh damn, what the fuck? Yeah, that just probably took the wind out of their day. Time to put on this podcast I enjoy. Happy set. Whoa. Welcome back to the most racist, racist podcast, podcast <laughs> on the internet. Whoever is listening to this is really xenophobic. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tinyk. And if not, then enjoy this one. Mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, gay as fuck. I should get my RC The so called flying saucers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Please look at all the signs, fashion your seatbelt, and get ready for the base. <laughs> That's the new moaning. People scrambling That's to the, the new radio. moaning, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Someone's listening full blast in traffic right now there, with their windows open. Uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> there's a lot of new listeners that don't know that bit. Yeah, yeah seriously. All the OGs sitting in their car right now at volume 10, like, yeah. I don't know. I know how we do on this show. <laughs> On, fucking noobs yeah i know they how can hear it come get. from a, a car that's like you know <laughs> they heard cars in front of them yeah. fucking noobs <laughs> yeah yeah some dude in a hyundai elantra just in distance welcome to the most racist podcast that sucker and you can hear him in the distance going uh it's just it's a joke it's a podcast <laughs> and it's a bit uh it's a silly bit they do <laughs> tiny meat gang but it's not oh god oh <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, so, you know. My Do you think there are new listeners to this podcast? <laughs> you said that, and I was like, I agree. And then I was like, that's probably not true. No, I think there are. You think so? Uh, definitely there are. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. then what's up to you guys? Yeah. Do you think there's anyone listening to this episode for the first time? First thing they've ever heard? If they are, they just checked out. <laughs> 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 I don't know what the fuck this is, yeah, but yeah. I'm turning this off. Dude, you got to listen to the TMG podcast. Welcome to the, what the fuck? <laughs> Savage, what? What? Jeez, Louise. What is going on here? So, yeah. I think I think we're starting now, but <laughs> okay, yeah. to all my indigenous people, I apologize, man. Um, uh, you know. And it, it was funny, too, because all the DMs weren't even, like, upset at me. They were just, like... Hey man, I like you. What the fuck was that? Yeah, it was like a very like like it felt so like I knew these people. I was like, like oh, we're not yeah. mad at you, Noel. We're just disappointed. Yeah, yeah. It was like I drew the blunt way too long in the rotation, and mm. they were like, what? "What got into you last night?" Yeah, you were sucking that thing down. <laughs> you didn't put in at all. <laughs> um, no. What I wanted to say, I want to say Happy Holidays because I heard um. You know, we were joking about Mr. Beast and Mark Rober. You know, yeah. The evil versions yes, of them. Yes, yeah. Oh, my God. What a great bit. Yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, go back and listen to the probably the last, like, 15 minutes of the last episode. Yeah. it's It took us an hour, but we finally said something funny. We finally did it. <laughs> my God, it was funny. I no. just have the funniest image in my head of... <laughs> Fuck boy Mark Rober. <laughs> and Mr. Beast. Yeah. Together. Yeah. In a, at a table at eleven. Yeah. Could you imagine tatted up with like dragons and snakes and shit and daggers like on his yeah. forearms? <laughs> hands all like uh, he's got like uh, like those those types of hands where the dudes like fight a lot where they yeah. you know they look like fucking you know old leather. Yeah. Like, they just been getting in scraps, yeah. a bunch of scars and shit. 
<laughs> menacing as fuck. Like <laughs> yeah, that dude is literally Mr. Beast. Like he will <laughs> yeah. claw your shit out. <laughs> now I want to say happy holidays. I heard um, Eleven is doing a celebration for Jesus. Are they? Yeah. 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 What are they doing? Uh, dancing for Jesus. Okay. <laughs> you know, everything you um, donate to the club goes straight to the club for Christmas. That's beautiful. Yeah. Are they going to buy toys? Yeah. For, for kids? N- no. Okay. <laughs> it's just sex toys? Yeah, sex toys. Yeah. Yeah. It's a toy drive <laughs> for, you know, uh, sex workers in need. That's good. Did you hear that they're building apartments on top of 11? You can buy a condo. You're kidding. No. Wow. And I think they're like, it's all a development by the company that owns it. I'm pretty sure that's public info, hopefully. But yeah, you can live right above it. If you go there that often. <laughs> it's you like, just like violate? Because if someone's in process of getting that through the city, <laughs> you might have just and fucked just like fuck the whole months and months of work. We can, we can bleep it out. We can look into it afterwards. Actually, Luke, look into that right now. Just see if there's an article about it or something. Yeah. Because, man, I might have just fucked, like, hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. just down the tubes. Leave it in, actually. Fuck it. Yeah, just keep it in there. I Imagine going there that much, though. Where that like, you live on like, top? Yeah, like it's a CVS or something. They don't serve like, food there, right? You pop down and just, like, I gotta run an errand real quick. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, get a quick lap dance and come back up. Do, do they serve food I there? I think they do. That's what I'm saying. Like, you just treat it like the habit? Oh, like, yeah, you go at, like, noon? Yeah. Yeah. You're like right when they yeah, open. Yeah, get a salad. <laughs> Go down to 11 at 4, knock on the door. You're not, not till 7. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Turn to your guests. Sorry, man. I thought <laughs> they have really, really good uh, potato salad in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit into like a lap dance before you check in for the night. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm, just drop me off right here. I'm going to yeah. pop into 11 for 10 minutes. Yeah. And, Get horned up before you go to sleep. <laughs> I'm buying, e- I don't know, I'm still picturing Mr. Beast at, at 11. Yeah, that's good. I'm buying every stripper in here a brand new Birkin bag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not e- if, if they can make me bust a nut. No, if he's evil, Mr. In my jeans. If he's evil, Mr. Beast, he has to have a different voice, no? Like a different way of talking? I picture him the exact same way. Just, but just evil looking. Just, I don't even know if it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe he could have. What were you picturing last week? Like a little face tat or something? Yeah, yeah. Like he's like no, he's got like the UK. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut, he's you know, like a tracksuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he has to wear a tracksuit because Eleven won't let him in with all those tats. Yeah. <laughs> he's got fuck life on his <laughs> yeah. on his uh, knuckles. <laughs> um, and he's four inches shorter. <laughs> yeah, he's just a little bit smaller. But he's got a huge hog. Oh, okay, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> That's why they call him Mr. Beast. No, he's got a huge... Time to find out why they really call me Mr. Beast. Yeah, or just a huge hog that he like pulls around on a chain, kind of like a bulldog. Oh, like an actual... Yeah, like, like an a... Actual... Like a... <laughs> <laughs> an actual hog. Yeah. Dude, somebody has to draw this. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Please, somebody draw like British... Chav with, like a chav, yeah, like with the bangs. chav, Mr. Beast with a with a hog on a leash, yeah, like a chain leash. Um, and actually, while you're at it, like make his beard wispy, like the X Men, like Beast. Mm, yeah, 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 so. yeah. And then Mark Mark Rober is his boy on the left. <laughs> yeah, his name is his name is Henry, and that's <laughs> evil. Mr. Beast's real name is Henry. Okay, his name is Henry, but we call him Beast because. I don't know, bro. Like he just he used to fight all the time in high school and just with that fucking crazy beard. So we just call him Mr. Beast, man. <laughs> What's up with the hog? I don't know. It's just his. It's just his deal. He's got a dope hog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm yeah, him in the club on the mic. I'm gonna buy all this is he's like, I'm gonna buy all you bitches Birkin bags. Says it just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm buying all no, you. No, but it's got to start like a drone shot that pulls back yeah. as he's announcing the title of the video, which yeah. is like every single video the way it starts. Yeah. Um, I'm buy all these bitches a Birkin bag. Ele- it's called. It's titled Eleven Days of Christmas. Yeah. And he put two giant Christmas trees in eleven. 
and he's got the drone shot. He's like, "What's up, guys? It's me, Mr. Beast. I'm buying all these hoes Birkin bags." <laughs> <laughs> the drone backs out, and he's just with the hog at the DJ booth. Like, <laughs> Damn, Mr. Beast really went off the rail. <laughs> and then fucking the money went to his head, didn't it? Yeah. Then Evil Mark Rover is on the side, just literally doing meth. Like he's just hitting a pipe. In 11. No, he's on the tables. <laughs> okay. He's throwing down like the craziest DJ set you've ever heard. And then smoking meth between songs. <laughs> or not. Nah, maybe it's just like a, it's it's like he has like a fucking meth pipe like like on a like a paper clip yeah, chain. Yeah, yeah. You know, this yeah. is like a statement. Yes. And it's just like, yeah, that's where I come from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's just playing like the craziest like trance yeah. house. No, this it's is like this. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even a fucking thing. Like, hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Allbirds. Allbirds makes cozy shoes and apparel from premium natural materials. They're not just comfy; they're better for the planet. Allbirds are gifts that feel as good to give as they do to wear. The classic wool runner, wool piper, and the new fluff collection make great gifts that keep you comfortable wherever your feet take you. The Mizzle collection keeps your feet warm and dry with cozy merino wool, no slip grip, and puddle guard technology. Uh, they're nice shoes for naughty weather. Allbirds performance gear stands up to the toughest workouts. Tree dasher running shoes, natural run apparel, and new trail runners are durable, comfy, and tread lighter on the planet. Free shipping and free returns with delivery in time for the holidays. Allbirds is on a mission to reverse climate change. They are a B Corp, making the environment a stakeholder in their business. We can create a more sustainable future together, but only if we tread lighter on the planet. So give comfort and feel joy this holiday season. Find your pair or one to gift at allbirds.com today. That's A-L-L-B-I-R-D-S.com. Now I'm just picturing like a sex worker after a long day just you know dropping down on the couch and be like what's mr beast up to <laughs> just like full like glitter on the face like full outfit but she's just like i just want to relax and they watch mr beast i don't know i mean i'm sure they probably i mean i'm sure every everyone fucking does everyone in the yeah. world watches mr beast clearly his squid games video got over a hundred million views in a week has it been a week no, it's been five days. You released it on Wednesday, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. This, and so this has to be probably the lamest tweet ever in the world about it. Yeah. Hundred three million views in four days. It took seven weeks. Squid Games, you know. It no, took... read it. Read it the way. Like. Okay. <laughs> so I was can, reading just it just the way it was written. No, you said you did, you missed the at Mr. Beast. At Mr. Beast, Squid Games video, hundred three million views in four days. It took seven weeks to make. At Netflix's Squid Game series, 111 million... Ele, see, there it goes again. 11, you just can't escape. <laughs> 111 million views in 30 days. It took 10 years to make. More views, less time, fewer gatekeepers. That's the promise of the creator economy. Shut, shut, the, shut fuck the fuck up. up. I really hate this format that Twitter has encouraged, which is just like, now it's just mic drops, you know? Yeah. That's, everyone wants that banger tweet where like, it's nicely wrapped up. It's like they intro something and then they just fucking end it with like a, yeah. Yeah. That's the creator of the prom, the. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the creator of the promise economy. Yeah. You know, or switch the words around, but you yeah. get it. And then just beep, mic yeah. drop. It's, Boom. it's like, this is so stupid. Yeah. Is it not? No, it is. It's also that like, uh, everyone gets on this shit to do homework. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean yeah. Like people get on Twitter now to do homework. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like 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 this is homework. Like you you have an intro, a body paragraph, and a conclusion. Yes. You're a fucking yes. Dork, exactly. Man. You're a, you're writing a full essay here. Yeah. Twitter in my mind is like where you're supposed to like think out loud, say shit that's like stupid. It's it's that's how you stimulate the conversation. Yeah. You don't fucking come in there with an email and yeah. You know. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this. Oh, a shut thread. Shut up. A thread. Shut oh, up. what? <laughs> and then it's actually it actually is an essay a lot of the times. Yeah. That's why tweets had limited characters. Because there's a point yeah. where you're supposed to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. After two hundred and fifty letters, we don't care. Yeah. I'm I know this, you know. After five hundred letters of me talking on this podcast, everyone's like <sighs> <laughs> all right noel like i can you know i i know this i can speak from experience 
No, but seriously, the thing about perverse family. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. B should recreate perverse family <laughs> and see how many views he gets. No. <laughs> I'm giving everyone in this house ten million dollars to eat all this poop. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoever can suck and fuck all these penises and just the yeah, it's the drone shot, and he's standing in the manhole. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> with all the dicks coming through. He's balancing on one. Yeah. <laughs> barefooted and his buddies are all yeah <laughs> different ones. yeah oh and the drone comes like it's like starts in the manhole and it goes up uh you know how his friends are like kind of they're just like pg sort of like yeah. the whole channel is pg right yeah like so the jokes that they make a lot of the times are yeah, just perverse like kind of, guys yeah what what yeah they're pg yeah exactly perverse guys. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> sorry i'm just picturing them like looking at one of the dicks and being like that one's weird <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. That's it. Yeah, five year old commentary. Yeah. <laughs> like nine year old commentary. This one's hairy. <laughs> Whoa, this one's big. <laughs> Look at that two, little guy. Two girls, two girls are making out with shit. <laughs> wow, stinks much. <laughs> Ew, we should probably get out of here. <laughs> Whoa, dude, it smells like your bathroom in here. <laughs> Dude, I would. One girl sucking up, <laughs> sucking on the prolapse of another person. I'm trying to play Among Us with my boys. <laughs> no, dude. No, dude. they're in the manhole and they're like commenting on all the penises, and then one of them pushes the other one, and his face like rubs <laughs> on a dick. He's like, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then the dick goes. Bang. Then he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> you're sus, dude. <laughs> Among us. Bruh. 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 Oh, emergency alert. Amongst us. Dude, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I would hate to be the smallest penis in that lineup. Like in that manhole. Oh, man. That would feel so bad. I don't think you feel anything. Yeah, that's true. If you're one of those dicks in that manhole. Yeah. That, like, like th that's how I know that scene is fake. Or like it's all dildos because the proximity of those penises to each other, it was like a... It was like a rock climbing wall. Oh yeah, it's like physically. How would that yeah, even like, happen? Or no, it's it's five guys, but they have dicks all the of different colors all the way down their chest. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a living Lego piece, just walk, just waddled up into it. And you're saying the four, they have four dildos like strapped to them, yeah. or real dick? No, it's real penis. Okay, like, okay, yeah, yeah. These yeah. are people with some weird. Right, right. They found yeah the weird the the, the ten survivors from Chernobyl. That's <laughs> yeah, what it did. Yeah, penis from the chest, the <laughs> middle abdomen. It's important though to note that as we're talking about this, don't look this video up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, do not look this video. Do up. not. Anyway, yeah. Unless you want your Saturday fucking destroyed. This tweet, like, I found a pretty funny. It's like a top tweet but like yes. se seven weeks to remove all cultural significance and impact remove all storytelling weight and aspect and essentially cannibalize the work of someone with actual creativity oh damn then he put in bold creator economy <laughs> i mean that's perfect <laughs> that really sums up perfect. youtube to the fullest yeah that's it. here's why that's perfect a thread no, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Everyone just, oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> just turned off the fucking, no. no. but the best part about this too is that like, it's <laughs> saying like Netflix's Squid Games took this long to make and and this long to hit 100 million views or whatever. And then Mr. Be Mr. Beast remakes of it. Mr. Bezos. <laughs> Mr. No, Beast. Mr. Based. Mr. Beast. <laughs> Mr. Beast. <laughs> It's time my boy, Mr. Bass. <laughs> Mr. Bass is a fucking Based right wing God. YouTuber. Yeah, Mr. Bass. Mr. Bass. <laughs> I feel Bass. Anyway. But he just ripped it off. That's the thing. Yeah. And this is no shade, man. No, no, no these. shade at all. It's like, it's still massively impressive to make anything that hits 100 million views in four days. That could be the most impressive thing ever in content, honestly. Yeah. Like the I mean, scale at which he did this. Yeah. Was so impressive. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that every set was just as big mm -hmm. and just as grand as the real thing. And he did that in 
Yeah, seven weeks. Like that's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, like, you know, cost millions, just like we. It's just like we had uh, thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing that I don't really understand is like every everyone's tweet that there was another really corny one that I saw that was like, please, like another stupid mic drop tweet that was like, please, like, like, um, soak in YouTube as it stands now. Because Mr. Beast Squid Games just changed everything. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. You know what this is? Yeah, it's like... Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Have you ever watched a movie? Yeah. You ever yeah. seen one of those? Yeah. They're pretty fucking wild. <laughs> Millions of dollars sometimes goes into those movies. Like a Marvel movie, for example. Watch that. Yeah. If you haven't seen one of those, wow. Yeah. That'll really blow your mind. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I get his one. He's one guy. He's not a full-on production company, but like he is now. That's so yeah, put, putting say. three and a three and a half million dollars into something, yeah, isn't cra- Isn't like that crazy? I it's mean, not. it is crazy. I just said it's probably the most impressive thing in content. But a hundred million vi- vi- views on one video in four days is like unheard of. Yeah, no, that part. I mean, it, you know, they, it can be both, but it's not. Yeah, this whole. <laughs> Just changed everything. No, it didn't. Yeah, exactly. No, it didn't. If I had $5 million, I could construct a game show uh, that is, I don't know, tic-tac-toe, but with cars that you blow up. And I'm sure that would garner a lot of you. I don't know, man. It's like, he obviously has it figured out and he has the capacity to do it. But uh, creative people with similar money, I would venture to say, could, could hang with the boy. Yeah, yeah. And and I wonder if like what they mean is partly because he shot it like a normal YouTube video. Like that was what kind of threw me off about the whole thing. I started mm-hmm. watching it and I'm like, clearly so much money went into this and effort. But so why are you shooting it with like a DSLR? I mean, he knows what his people like. So maybe that's what they mean is that like he kind of changed the landscape in terms of like the format where it's like now we get this crazy high production value stuff, but it still feels like YouTube. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't like that. I would have yeah. way rather seen it shot on like a cinema camera. Yeah, I wanted to know all like the 10 people that just left. And he's like, if everyone leaves now, I'll give you two grand. It was just half the cast being like, bye. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? What? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, I I think there was, <laughs> I would have liked to gotten to know some of the people, you know? They could have they could have played that out a little bit, not just these random like, how are you feeling about everything? Oh, <laughs> I'm nervous. And they just cut them off. <laughs> it's mid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know. It's it's still a feat. Like you can't you you can't hate on the guy. I think the commentary is really definitely stupid from people though. Trying to make it you know more than maybe what it is. The funniest thing to me though is the dude who created Squid Game. <laughs> you know how shitty it must feel to like spend years developing like some art that you like really believe in and then it you finally sees the light of day and then a bunch of fucking snot nosed kids with DSLRs come in like dude we're gonna do the exact same thing and then they do it and you have people get on Twitter and be like this just changed everything it's like <laughs> no fucker I changed everything <laughs> exactly I made it yeah, you, you took it. my shit that was my main gripe with this tweet it's that it's a remake of the thing that you're criticizing it's the whole reason why this exists is because that guy spent fucking 100 or 10 years making this fucking thing yeah yeah Yeah. and all it to me it's like when people bag on like little pump they're like oh anyone could do that it's like no 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 anyone can do that now because he did it and he found something that people like and as asinine as you want to call it he still made something that people go damn this kind of like this hits somewhere for me little pump yeah like I'm just saying, like when out you of can, everyone that you could have brought up, because I'm, I'm picking, I'm very surprised that Lil Pump is the guy. Because I'm you're, picking the thing that every like the most go to, like ah, I could fucking do that, or oh, this is what rap is now. Right. It's like it's like has all this like dumbass criticism right. where it's like, yeah, sure, but he, you can't deny he did figure out something for a moment, and people were fucking into it. And I hate when people like look at that and go, dude, I could fucking, I could rap like this. It's like. Yeah, but you didn't know you could do that until he did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep, that's totally fair. So, like, in this same capacity, people could look, anyone with, like, a bajillion dollars could go, oh, dude, I'll just, I could put that on. Yeah. It's like, well, now you know you can put that on because yeah. someone opened that fucking door for you. Yeah. So, that's the shit that gets on my nerves when <laughs> people have all these, like, you know, quote, smart things to say. And it's like, dog, there's one person who took the gamble on it, and now you know that's possible. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. 
Yeah, that shit just is annoying. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Harry's. Let's face it, guys are hard to shop for. Whoever you're getting a gift for this season, you know we want something exciting but practical. This is the year to give him Harry's, and there's no better gift than their limited edition holiday shave sets, featuring their award-winning Winston handle, plus handsome and ready-to-gift packaging for an amazing unboxing moment. Harry's is the gift that keeps on giving. Their sharp and long-lasting blades are still as low as $2 each when it's finally time to replace them. How often can you say you're also giving the gift of savings? For a limited time, listeners of our show can get $5 off any holiday shave set at harrys.com slash TMG. Harry's makes sharp blades that last, German-engineered and award-winning razors, backed by a 100% quality guarantee, so if he doesn't love his shave... You get a full <laughs> refund. This holiday season, listeners can get $5 off plus free shipping on any Harry's limited edition holiday shave set when you go to harrys.com slash TMG. The sets come with a weighted handle, three razor cartridges, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. Everything he'll need for a smooth shave, all packaged in a handsome holiday gift box. Claim your $5 off plus free shipping. Go to harrys.com slash TMG. But shout out to Mr. Beast, though, man. Yeah, I'll also will will give him credit for this. I mean, I feel like we've been a tiny bit negative. <laughs> no, it's this. still dope. I think it's fucking dope. Um, I think what it what really is dope about this is, like you said, traditional Hollywood and and traditional ways of making content would have made this a ten part series. Yep, they would have gotten BTS on those people that left, and they would have made that a whole segment. Yeah, and uh so on and so forth, right? Yeah. And they would have shot it with a cinema camera, like I said. Mm -hmm. And they, like, he, he would not be probably such a, like, he wouldn't just be walking through. They'd probably try yeah. to remake it like the yeah. Netflix one and so on and so forth. But for him to spend three, three and a half millions of dollars on this and then just drop it as a 20 minute YouTube video and never refer to it again. Yeah. Never like milk it for everything it's worth. Yeah. Kind of is game changing. Because uh, he's on to the next one now. He's going to yeah. do something else. Oh, yeah, he's doing his, like, creator games or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, for him, it's like, he's spending money on this stuff, but he's still iterating just as fast. This yeah. was just a kind of a <clears throat> drop in the bucket for him. He's like, yeah, 100 million views. I can do this in seven weeks, and now I'm on to the next thing. I wouldn't say he changed the game so much as I think he proved that he can innovate on his own style. Like, he can keep, like you're, like you're saying, like, this fast iteration, he can keep growing within this premise that he's kind of set for the type of content that he makes. Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone, um, like, to Mr. B's credit and, like, the point I'm trying to make, I don't think anyone would know that they can make a video like this. Yes, yeah. Yep. You know? Yep. Like, he's proving, like, oh, no, like, my format works even at very big levels. So. He should fucking just do this with every Netflix show that pops off. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just remake that shit. But with YouTubers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be the worst thing ever in the world to do. <laughs> and as soon as I said that, I just regretted it full on. But yeah, no, he, he should do that. Yeah, like, he, he should just... he should remake the show You and stalk <laughs> women and commit no. horrible, horrible atrocities. That's not really what I mean. I mean, obviously he shouldn't do that, but I just meant like every show that people really enjoy and that is like culturally significant he and he just comes in, he's like, we're going to plug YouTubers into this <laughs> instead. And it's like, oh no. What's up guys? I'm Mr. Beast. Welcome to the Mr. Beast Narcos Challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I took 10 of your favorite creators. I'm going to see if they can get these bags of cocaine across the border. border. <clears throat> <laughs> that actually would be sick. I'd watch that. I'd fucking watch yeah. that. Yeah. Just to see who would go to jail. Yep. <laughs> nice, yeah. dude. So, <laughs> I, I just mean, I just mean, like, what else? Sorry. Oh, like, remember that? What? I was gonna say, I think the DEA kind of does the same thing, but they just don't use cameras. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> I think our government already does that challenge. <laughs> see who we can set up for a rest challenge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. I was gonna say, remember that show, The Floor Is Lava? Yeah. No reason he could have he couldn't have remade that. That, that should have been a Mr. B show. Mr. Video. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, he definitely he definitely should have been the one to do that. Anytime, I think if anyone has like a stupid challenge show idea beneath three to eh, beneath five million dollars, they should just give it to Mr. Beast. Yeah, yeah. Because. He know and and to his credit, he's 
maximized that format. I think that's the biggest thing is he can do a $10 million concept for like a third of the cost because he's shooting on DSLRs. Yeah. Literally anyone can pick up the camera and just, you know. Yeah. It probably reduces a lot of complexity too in the edit. Because mm -hmm. if you're just working off of three or four cameras. Yeah. And you're not trying to tell a story. <laughs> yeah. Or, or it can make it worse actually. Yeah, because then you miss shit. Yeah. Yeah. Coverage is, look at this shit, man. <laughs> miss shit and okay, everything's coming from different angles and- yeah. You don't know what's A cam, what's B cam, all that stuff, and mm -hmm. could probably make it. I don't know. Yeah, like it's probably more thought out than we think. It's just that was my impression when I was walking, watching it. I was like, so much money went into this. Yeah. Why isn't the production of the actual content like treated the same? I would have like the set design is crazy. Yeah. But yet it's just you're standing there, same thing as every other YouTube video, and same subtitles and everything. I'm like, it's kind of doing it a disservice. What you did behind. Yeah. It, I, and in that way, it's it's polarizing. Yeah, I think rather than change the game, I think it's very polarizing. I think that's like a better word to describe what he Yeah. Because my opinion's better. Yeah, yeah. A thread. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like how the last game was was musical chairs instead of finding some uh, some way of recreating the actual squid game, yeah. right? Like not having them fight to the death. I mean, that actually would be sick, but... You know, having some different way of doing that, whether it's I would have liked to what. see them actually play the Squid Game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just not fighting. But may, I don't know. I mean, it, fighting wasn't part of it to begin with, right? The Squid Game. We. Oh, you mean like as kids? You know how at the very end they fight to the death? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the last thing. Yeah. I just meant like the actual Squid Game part of it. Did no, they no, do no. that in the end? Yeah, they. He fucking killed the dude. I know, but that's not part of. Squid Game is a childhood game. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As kids, no, no, no. It's just like, it's like some Red Rover type game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't they play that? Red Rover? No, Squid Game. Yeah, I don't know. He said we're not Korean, and maybe he felt like it was disrespectful to just like. <laughs> yeah, ripping off that part is the disrespectful yeah. part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never mind spawning like millions of teenagers to be like, this is better than the actual. <laughs> Just kidding, man. No, it was dope. It was dope. No ands, ifs, or buts, or answers. Yeah. It, was, it was good. Shout out Mr. Beast. Yeah. Next time you see us, we'll be interviewing him in his condo above 11. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With all the fucking Birkin bags. <laughs> I'm buying all these bitches. <laughs> What's with all the Birkin bags? I'm going to give it to the hoes later. <laughs> Damn, Beast. Damn, I'm giving it to the bitches later. Damn, dude. Mr. Based and Misogynist, Mr. dude. Based. Mr. Bane and Misogynist, bro. Oh, by the way, like the video. Based. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, do us a favor. Like this video. Uh, yeah, as a holiday gift to us. If Please you're watching like this on video on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube. <clears throat> and uh, Like it, like it, like it. If like not, then, you know, we'll do something for you, too. Bro. Here. There's a little something for you. So speaking of brutal murder, okay. <clears throat> um, uh, Alina's sister has a new a new child. Okay, brand new baby. It's a okay. little baby girl. Okay, let's keep going with the story because, <laughs> yeah, right now those aren't the two best things to put together. Yeah, I know. I know. You never know with me. Me around infants is like, <laughs> okay. We've seen the visuals, you know. Right. And so her nephew, uh, the little baby's older brother is um has his hands on his baby sister and he goes can i crush her in my garbage truck and we were like everyone in the room was like no <laughs> and he goes okay <laughs> and we're just like what well, kind of like obviously that means something else to him to like his little baby brain but it was just like you know so then i fucking like I may be curious. I wonder if anyone drop a comment if you have like some visceral quote from you as a child. Yeah, I'd like to know that too. Spock had a funny one where he he's like, when I was like a little kid, I got new boots and I kicked my sister in the head because I just wanted to quote see how they kick. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. 
That's so good. Just imagine a four-year-old Spock just walking up to a, a, a slightly younger baby sister and just, pow! <laughs> yeah, they kick pretty good. Yeah, they kick pretty <laughs> nice. <laughs> New boot goofing. Yeah. It's, you know, boom. Like, kick pretty well. The guy at the store said they kick moderately well, but I'd say this is pretty damn yeah, good. this is... This is sharp. Those are nice, but how do they kick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aren't you four? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, I got a little sister. Hey, guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Skylight Frames. This past year has taught us how important sharing moments with friends and family is and how hard it is to stay in touch when they're far away. Skylight is the perfect gift for that. For a really special gift for the special people in your life, you've got to check out the Skylight Frame. Skylight Frame is a photo frame you can update instantly by email from anywhere. It sets up effortlessly in under 60 seconds. Just plug in. Use the touchscreen to connect your wireless network and enjoy. Sending photos to Skylight Frame is effortless. Everyone in the family can just email them to your personal Skylight email address and they'll pop up in seconds. Multiple people can send photos to the frame, so it's a great way to keep large networks of friends and families in touch. Skylight Frame is a gorgeous 10-inch touchscreen. You can swipe through photos with your finger and even tap to thank the person who sent a photo. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love your Skylight, they'll offer you a full refund. Yeah, you can uh, preload it with your favorite photos uh, for a personalized gift, import pictures of you and your significant other, spouse, grandparent, etc., that they didn't even know you had. What's up? Now as a special offer, you can get $10 off your purchase of Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter code TINY. That's right. Get $10 off to purchase a Skylight Frame. Just go to skylightframe.com and enter code TINY. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E.com, promo code TINY. Um, so yeah, uh, that was my highlight of the weekend. That's sick. At all. How was your uh, Savages Day? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> you said it. I didn't say it. That's a quote from you. Now we got to really back it up. That's a quote from you. <laughs> How was your Thanksgiving? <laughs> um, tur- Turkey Day. Right? Turkey Day. That's what everyone calls it, Turkey Day. Sure. You know, um, it, was, it was cool. We, uh, Alina just went for round two because, um, you know, her and her friends whipped up the pre-Turkey Day, pre-Thanksgiving. Friendsgiving. And- the friends giving the one that I just kind of yeah. you know, rolled up into. Yeah, nice. um, I love when Honey has dinner on the table from when I get home <laughs> from racing. Didn't know she brought y'all over here to make me dinner. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Do me a favor, sit not at the table <laughs> so I could eat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I I had to do work this time. It was good, man. I it was felt good because I didn't suck ass in the kitchen. I was I was on game. What'd you make? Uh, you know, just sweet potato uh, with some fucking pecan, like brown sugar pecan, pecan like top layer. Everywhere. Um cornbread stuffing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> just mashed potatoes. Mm. Got to. Um, green bean casserole, mm-hmm. which you know I'm usually a hater of, but mm-hmm. this year it was pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, just like this little thing is like a three pound turkey. It's a small little guy. Nice. Yeah. Um, you made all that shit for family? Not just us. Really? Solo dolo. Holy shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You cooked like all day for that? No, it was like a couple hours. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> and we took the leftovers wow. to her sister. Nice. Yeah. So... Yeah, it was it was good. Nothing really that crazy. We watched the Fast and Furious and Two Fast Two Furious back to back. Oh, I saw that on your story. I was yeah, like, I wonder what which one that was. Too fast. Was it too fast? Yeah. That animation of the Universal uh, logo turning coldest into the rim? opening. Yeah. What the fuck? That looked like it was from like this year. Like it looks super modern, bro. It's the coldest opening to a film I've seen in my entire life. Yeah. Wow. When I saw that, like when that movie first came out, and I was like, whatever years old, and that shit happened, I was like. I didn't know. No! <laughs> I was speechless. I was like, I didn't. <laughs> I went like this. Wow. wow. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, that just changed the game. <laughs> Mic drop. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to like, 
first of all, too fast. If you want to get like late nine, if you want to get that early two thousands nostalgia, that shit hits you in the soul. It is crazy. Uh, Eva Mendez. Oh yeah, she's hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just remember being in love with her back then. Just stopping yourself from saying shit. <laughs> She's hot as hell. <laughs> hot as shell. <laughs> hot as shell. Uh, Eva Mendez is not shit. I remember dude. she came on the screen. I went, wow. 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 Yeah, dude. Uh, everything about that shit was crazy. Just in, in terms of the feeling I got watching it again. Bring up a picture of Eva Mendez, please. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Just to bro. confirm You're... that I think she's hot. Okay. Still. <laughs> Not, there it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. Right? Is she all right? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Just do what you do with Dune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you like threes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's all Mark Zuckerberg was doing when she was on screen. He added her to the Facebook database, and he's like, eh, four. <laughs> Hold on. Speaking of Mark Zuckerberg. Can we watch this TikTok? You want to get into the meta? I just, I, I want you to see this. Okay. I want to watch this together. All right. And then we can talk about whatever. Okay. We should talk about the Constitution Dow, actually. All right. Today, we're going to talk about the metaverse. Hold on, pause it. Is this a song? <laughs> I mean, clearly it is a song, but I'm saying, is it a <laughs> copyright song? No, that's a great question for the metaverse. <laughs> is Is this music? <laughs> Does this count as music? What does the sound say? Original sound, perverse family episode <laughs> two. We got copyrighted by the perverse family. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. What? Someone messaged me and was like, I just watched the perverse family. Bro, that shit was weak. You're soft. What? I'm like, look, man, I've, I've First seen- First of all, yes, I was soft when I was watching yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be very clear about that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're hard while you're watching that, you got bigger problems. Yeah. Literally. Literally. If you're, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> if you're someone. Um, yeah. And I, and I, was, I read that and I was like, first of all, I've, I've seen people die online, you know, get shot. I watched a camel get hit by a Tesla the other night. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I was laughing my ass off. Where did you see that? Yeah. Man, if I don't... I don't want to see that. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, I want to see it. Look, 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 guys. And before, you know, all our, our PETA supporters and shit come at me, I didn't fucking hit the camel, okay? Okay. It's not my fault that when something goes really fast at a still object, it's funny. <laughs> see? Picturing a car going really fast at something stationary is funny. <laughs> And if that thing Wait, has, did, it, did they hit it on purpose? No, it was like on how autopilot. Do you miss, how do you miss Bro, a fucking camel that is standing the, in the middle of the road? That is the million dollar question. That's why those cars suck, man. Teslas? Yeah, I wouldn't probably blame it on the car. I think it was on autopilot. Oh, I see. And it couldn't. It didn't detect a camel. It happened in the Middle East. <laughs> it's not. It's well, not I mean, funny. They're, they're, oh, that's not funny. <laughs> they're, they're, no, that's not funny. <laughs> A 150-pound animal with limbs getting sent into the air. See, that's not funny. It's not funny. Looking like a Super Mario fucking... Yeah. That's so funny, the edge cases that the autopilot engineers have to work out. He hit a what? Oh, well, damn, we don't have camel detection yet. Bro. We didn't even think that that would be a thing. Imagine reading that GitHub ticket on Monday morning. <laughs> camel detection? yeah. yeah. <laughs> pull request camel yeah, detect pull request if <laughs> if if object dot looks like dot camel dot or like slow down, slow down. <laughs> or just the project manager it's a one line fix <laughs> dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> they they go for that monday scrum and they're, they're just like you know depressed drinking yeah. the coffee and the project manager's like so we killed a camel this weekend <laughs> oh <laughs> So we're gonna have to move this ticket up in priority because camel detection is now, uh, it's, you know, it's, I don't know, it's coming from the biz dev team. They really need this to be implemented. I don't get it. You know, it's one fucking camel. 
<laughs> Ever seen a Tesla with a captain? Ever seen a Tesla hit a camel? Bro, I no, was about to send I the haven't. link, but all right. Trigger warning. I, I don't know if we can show this, but right. y'all can react to it. Okay. Better not laugh. Loves the camel. They, they did, hey, that's not, hey, that's fucked up. You can't put that song. <laughs> oh my God. You held it in. That's fucked up. <laughs> you were, you were, Wait, full screen that? <laughs> See? See? Uh, if I you're listening on that. audio, um, a Tesla at about 100 miles an hour it hits a camel. <laughs> Did you guys catch that song? <laughs> what was the what was the song? Play this play with the song. That's why Is I'm it Everybody loves the camel Don't be the Like they're listening to they just so happen to be listening to Everybody Loves the Camel. Oh, no. No. Oh my god, dude! And, and what's Damn, that camel gets fucked up? Does it? It looks like a cartoon hit. Like it looks, like it does like a hundred revolutions, and it's just gonna land on its feet and keep walking. <laughs> Damn, that's not funny at all. It's not funny. It's not. It's not funny. So anyway, to whoever was like, oh, you're soft. Perverse family isn't that bad. Don't fucking shame us for not being as desensitized as you, you fucking. Like, just because you're empty inside, don't put that on us, right? Yeah, and let me ask you one question. You ever seen a Tesla hit a camel? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Honey, uh, we all shop online. What? I was just going to let you know today's episode is sponsored by Honey. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. We all shop online and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at the checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Goodbye. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Yeah, Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Imagine, you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Wow. Yo, wow. You know that we've used it. We've saved hundreds of dollars, literally. Literally. On shoes, tech, shoes, you tech. name it. Yeah, Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. Billion. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. I'm picturing who sits through all 12 episodes of Perverse Family. Yeah, I know. <laughs> More than 12. It's three. Isn't that season three? Yeah. Oh, no, that was episode three. Sorry. Yeah, I don't. So there's two other episodes. Yeah. That trailer was for episode three. I just really think it's the house that puts me off. Yeah. It's like that exterior shot. Where I'm just like, ah, you couldn't do it in like a. <laughs> if they did it in like a Hollywood home. No, that's creepy too. A yeah. Super modern home. With... I still think that one, the first scene of the mom just like drinking that handful of cum. Yeah. From all the giant jars of cum. Yeah. That has to be one of the most fucked up scenes. Yeah, it's pretty gross. They should have did it in the homestead house. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the poop eating house. Yeah. They fuck someone, uh, they responded to like a bad rating or something. Someone was like, you know, or a bad comment or <clears> some <throat> shit. And they said, uh, this is clearly an attack on us. <laughs> This this person has not used our business. I'm like attack. <laughs> I'm telling anyone to attack you guys. You guys just fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, what were we talking about? Will Smith having too much poops. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Actually. No, I'm no. I fucking no. Enough. Like I swear. Like 
when this shit started with him and Jada like telling their sex life, like I thought it was like like a weird PR thing of like, we need to let the young people know you're still cool. You should tell them about a time you did a threesome or you, you know, you should, you should tell them about the time you did acid, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I thought it was like some weird, like relevancy thing where they're like, no, let, let them know, you know, I'm, just cause I'm old, I'm not washed, man. Yeah. And then it's what? just turned into like, what the fuck? Well, no, this is just to promote a book. So you're right. It is a PR <laughs> thing. Oh, does he have a book? Oh, yeah, it does have Will a book. Will opened about all up this. about his first, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All this is is a giant PR ploy. That's all it is. Oh, right? Never mind. I take it back. I'm, hold on. I gotta be, I'm, yeah, I'm, I gotta make sure I'm right about this. Yeah, that see, look at that. That's him holding his new book. And this is the same thing that every celebrity does like this right. for their book. They write something that nobody knows that yeah. is very clickbaity. Yeah. And they go to the PR agency and they're like, let's definitely use that for an article. Yeah. And then, I mean, this this is pretty absurd, though. Right? Growing the story. The pussy. Yeah. This is the headline. Will Smith opened up about how he resorted to having rampant sexual intercourse to deal with being cheated on by his first girlfriend, which led to him developing a psychosomatic reaction to having an orgasm, meaning he almost threw up. He gagged and almost vomited every time he came. Damn. That's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, like, getting tough and... He's like, no, 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 you got to, you got to, uh. <laughs> slow down. She's like, well, down. oh, oh, are you, are you going to come? Too much? Are you, you going to, no, don't be, uh, are you going to, are you going to, are you going to come? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, are you okay? Are you going to vomit? Yeah. <laughs> Which one is it? Are you going to come or vomit? I'm going to, I know both. <laughs> His legs are twitching in her mind. Are you liking this or, or is it bad? I don't know. <laughs> no, she's like, oh, I'm going to make him. Yeah. I'm gonna make you fucking. Oh! <laughs> now that's perverse. Just that her. that happened in the perverse family, actually. <laughs> it hits her right on the top of the head, just fucking flap. <laughs> I'm gonna come. What? I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna come, bro. What was the first throw up episode like? You know what I mean? There was that first one where he nutted and then yacked. Yeah. What was the timing? Yeah, I don't know. Like same time. That's what I was just thinking. Like, was it? What, what if it was like, like a little bust bit busted and come at the same? You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bust and come. <laughs> just fucking bust out. Yeah. <laughs> both both ends. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I feel kind of bad for the girl though, because she'd be like, "Is that was it that bad?" Yeah. He's like, "No, it was really good." <laughs> but like, you threw up like in a in a hot way because <laughs> I was so turned on. I was so nauseous from how good you were. <laughs> what, what 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 does this actually mean? Does it mean like you're sick with yourself for having so much sex? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we probably have to buy his book to find out. <laughs> We should probably buy his book, you know? That shit is... Okay, I had sex with so many women and it was so constitutionally disagreeable to the core of my being that I developed... Oh, so he's saying he has like a... <clears throat> like he felt like he was... <clears throat> kind of like a weird, like, humble brag too. Isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I've... After the first time I got cheated on, I went on a fucking tear, my guy. Yeah, but it was like so, it was so like contradictory to who I am as a man, which is like, you know, family man. But I was fucking dad. Like five times a day, which yeah, is like but, not me. But like I could, it wasn't me, so I just felt sick about it. But I was still fucking. <laughs> There's a vicious cycle where I would like wake up and fuck and then The thing is, I, I respect women though. I respect women and I love women, but yeah. I was fucking five hoes a day. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like five bitches a day. Yeah. And it made me sick to my stomach because I respect them so much. I just wake up and fuck and throw up and then just uh, fuck again and then throw up again and like fuck again and throw up again. I'm like, fuck, is it fucking dinner already? Fuck. So I try to eat something and I couldn't keep it down because I just fuck again and then. And this girl gave me the craziest head but it made me sick. <laughs> Made me sick that I could enjoy this much head. Oh, God damn, it was the best head ever, every day, all day. 
but I couldn't do it. I felt sick to my stomach. It felt so gross. But I still did it. <laughs> felt so, so sick. So to my, sick. <laughs> so sick to my stomach that I could just receive that much top, dude. It was so fucked. Yeah, man. It just made me feel so sad <laughs> that I could lay that much pipe and satisfy that many women. Oh, I want maybe it makes me want to puke just thinking about it right now. Think about all the I can make I, all those women squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Think about all the bitches I made come. It's just ugh, I just can't handle it. There's so many bitches come, dude. I just ugh. <laughs> And just the fact that so many women wanted to fuck me. It's gross, dude. What a sick world we live in. Yeah. So disgusting. All that top I got. So, yeah, anytime I fuck now, I just bring a barf bag. So, you know, that cleans it up pretty good. (laughs) You imagine that shit? He's like fucking some girl and he pulls out like an American Airlines bag that he took from the plane. Like you go ride it with him and from the plane, yeah, and he's yeah. in the, and he just pulls it out. He's like, "Just chill." <laughs> what are you doing? Don't freak out. <laughs> just it's it, it's, 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 cool. it's just not fair. What <laughs> he throws up? It's not fair that I can fuck this much. <laughs> it's not fair to you. She's like, "It was great." What do you mean? No, it's just making me feel, me feel sick. I feel bad. I feel like this is actually some real trauma and we're just like making fun of it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That it is, is though, right? It's kind of a... Um, no, fuck that, dude. That is the craziest sentence to say out loud. <laughs> There's That's the only way we could cope with a statement like that. Yeah. Because after the laughter is over, we have to all go home and be like, damn, Will Smith had so much sex he threw up. <sighs> You know what I mean? Like that is gonna he's inflicting trauma on people. He hasn't even realized it. Yeah. People are gonna leave from this book feeling like I haven't lived. Yeah. It's not fair that he exposed us to this universe that he lives in where he's like, Yeah, it's, it's so, hundreds of thousands of sexual partners. Yeah. But don't do that though, because it's, it's so bad for you. It was constitutionally up. disagreeable with my soul, who I am inside, that I fucked that many bitches. Yeah. <laughs> You just gotta, you're just going to feel bad reading that shit. Yeah. Like, there's a dude with a body count of like 400 that's going to read this book and go, damn, I, I haven't thrown up. I'm, <laughs> I'm clearly not doing it enough. Damn, Jesus. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to re- This is actually what's going to push our society into just a sexually free society. Yeah. Everyone's going to read this book and be like, we must fuck more. We must all experience. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Yeah. I don't know. This is getting into weird territory, but it might be trauma, but it's it's funny trauma. Yeah. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> He's fine, yeah. He's got two great kids. Yeah. Very two? Ten- yeah. Jaden and his Jayden? sister. Yeah. Will I thought Jayden. there was another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the third one. <laughs> <clears throat> no, that's fucked up because no, everyone it? ignores that kid. Hold on. Well, he's not famous. It doesn't doesn't matter. You motherfucker, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding. Trey. Trey. Who's it? Trey. Trey. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I wonder if Trey like heard <clears throat> these stories growing up, and he's like, "I don't want anything to do with Hollywood." Yeah. Seems really bad for you, man. Yeah. I think I'm gonna just. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna just go sell cars. Yeah. <laughs> what does he do? I wonder. He's 29. I mean, he, I guess he's a DJ. Can, is that even verifiable? That feels like some just the racially Wikipedia motivated way. shit. Oh, he's probably a DJ. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> Thrown up from sex, man. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like something like a teenager says after they smoke weed for the first time like some made up like dude i got so high i fucking did a cartwheel <laughs> that doesn't happen when you're high man yeah it does for me it does you're not because smoke- i was so high you weren't smoking the right shit if you're not wanting to do <laughs> yeah. a cartwheel bro <laughs> oh yeah dude, i fucked so much this weekend i threw up <laughs> dude you're definitely a virgin <laughs> so you think it's not true then no, no, I think it's true. That I bet you he told that, and there is like some weird kid that 
talked about having this reaction in high school and everyone clowned him for being a virgin. He's yeah. like, Will, like he's vindicated. Yeah. He, he lost his virginity and then he came to school and was like, dude, I had sex and I threw up. I think like having sex made me puke. <laughs> You've never had sex, bro. <laughs> Literally, you would love it. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah that's a, I like how we wrote that into the show. Improv. Gagging after nutting. <laughs> Gagging after nutting. <clears throat> It's not fair that I get to fuck like this. <laughs> Do you think he nut all the time? Do you think it's not he- fair to you? <laughs> She's like, but Will, I, it was great. What do you mean? It's just I'm like I'm I'm not this dude, you know. <laughs> just like what? Oh, I'm gonna be sick again. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what I was about to say. How was, how was having sex with Will? Do you think I he- was good until the very end? <laughs> Do you think he nutted? Some girl had her big O, and they're having a conversation, and that's when it hit him. Yeah. You're just so... One second. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? I was just trying to open up to... I know. I just It's the thought of the... No. Ooh. <laughs> the what? What? The thought of what? The no. <laughs> and then you can't tell her that you had... That, you, that you're vomiting because you have too much sex. Yeah. So you have to just make something up. Mm-hmm. And they just yeah, you stink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why'd you puke? Uh, you're uh, <laughs> take a shower. <sighs> Change your shampoo. It stinks. Ooh. Yeah, bro. Um. Anyways, Narcos. Narcos Mexico. I haven't watched it yet, but <laughs> Succession. Sheesh. Did you watch last night? Yeah, I did. Yep. Thought he was going to do it. Oh, man. Kendall just Spoiler keeps alert. getting cringier and cringier. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I'll uh, give you five seconds. To, to Kendall Roy gets off. hit by a car. Uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. What the hell? That doesn't happen. But he Kendall is, Roy kills Logan with a car. That doesn't happen. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of something he actually did. He That's a little unbelievable, but the, not really. He's just so cringy. Yeah. He, oh, like right off the bat, like the episode starts and he's singing and it's just like, ugh. Yeah. Dude's got a good oh, voice, though. A good singer, yeah. 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 He killed it. He kind of fucking killed it. I was like, for all of Kendall's cringe, my, my, my man can sing. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, no, it's supposed to be ironic. And I was like, dude, you just go up there and do that. Yeah. You killed it. Just, People would like that. What, his girl is like steering him in weird ways. I she, agree. She's an enabler. I don't yeah, like Yeah, I her. agree. Neither. And that whole thing with, her telling him to chill and he's, as he's looking for, for his present from his kids. And it's like, she's yeah. like, relax. Here's a watch, you know? Worst, and I, worst girlfriend. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but it's his kids. Yeah. He wants the gift from his children. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You shouldn't. She's like, we'll find it later. Yeah. Oh, bro, he can't. And he cannot stomach his ex-wife doing well. Yeah. That shit kills him. Yeah. That was a brutal part. I was then like, that's the whole thing is that by the end, because you can tell in that conversation where he's like calling her new boyfriend boring or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? Like enjoy a couple glasses of wine, bed by 10. And she's like, that sounds really nice actually. Yeah. And then I think by the end, he's like, I'm 40. What the fuck am I doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, watch. My family all fucking hates me. <laughs> it seems like this is kind of the start to his like depressive episode now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think did that's you, what they're leading up to? Did you watch the uh, next episode preview? No, I didn't. No, what? what is it? He has a quarantine arc. He comes back with a shaved head. See? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. He's going to be a rapper. Nice. Yeah. Does he really? He shaves his head? Um, it's like, yeah, he buzzes it down. So he's really going... Just going off the off the deep end a little bit. I mean, like you know, I was, I was reading some like fan ideas and shit, and people are thinking this is gonna set like the rock bottom stage where he maybe has like a a come to, and he's like, I'm gonna fucking ether this family. Gotcha. He's like, buy me out, and maybe takes his two billion, and he's like, time to bulldoze all of you because guess what? I have this great read on the market, and you guys are fucked. Yeah. Um, that was pretty great when he opened up the offer, the term sheet, and he's reading, and I like paused it because I wanted to see, and I was like, two billion dollars? Yeah. Take it, dude. I, and I, he like closes and shakes his head. I'm like, what are you doing? I didn't even pause it. I just glanced, and I saw like five commas. I was like, yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds right. Get the fuck it. out of there. Out of there. <laughs> you can do this forever. Just leave. Have, have this party every single day. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never be sad. <laughs> Fucking hell. His girlfriend is so bad. Just chill out. Here's the watch. What are you what are you doing, man? I thought it was pretty funny when he was like, I'm just trying to think. Like if I were you, why the fuck would I get me this gift? That was so funny. <laughs> it's like, damn. So funny. There are definitely more gracious ways to accept a bad gift than that. Yeah. It's like, I just don't fucking get, why would you get me this? So funny. A- anytime he runs into his ex wife, I'm like, what are you doing, man? And I'm biased, yeah. right? I'm like, put together brown girl. What the fuck? <laughs> Just you were fine, dude. Chill the fuck out. Um, oh, what what else happened? Um, Roman, a one performance from our bo- yes. uh, from our boy Kieran. Yes, and I do have to say I'm a little bit on his side. You are? Yeah, a little bit, because he's kind of like, it's my turn in the spotlight, and you guys can't fucking handle it because you're the older siblings. That's and fair. you don't want to see me succeed. Yeah. And it's like kind of true. He's killing it. He's mm-hmm. putting together these deals, and she's like trying to nose her way into it. Granted, she has a reason, because Logan told her she was the one that was supposed to succeed him or whatever. But, uh, and yeah, he's being a total dick to her by being like, mm-hmm. by like cutting her out. But still, like he's doing a really good job, and both of them like don't take him seriously still. Yeah. Um, also a weird thing I think we mentioned this like when the show first came out but I watched the after episode like that little wrap up where the actors speak for like a couple lines and I didn't realize the dude who plays Tom is like he's English Mm -hmm. that's why his voice is so funny yeah because it's him like over correcting yeah for an American accent yeah even Shiv's I mean comparing and that's why Logan's is fucked up too because he's Irish (laughs) <laughs> or Scottish I forget which yeah. one sorry for, you know people from there hate me because I mix those up all the time you should definitely not mix those up yeah whatever nice nice, nice oh movie. whatever oh right, whatever whatever oh right, fuck off <laughs> yeah yeah it, fuck off it's sneaking out a little bit in there fuck off fuck off fuck off um yeah I think I would like it if Kendall, if his fucking pathetic ass could just like figure out a hero move. Mm-hmm. I would love that. Yep. Just, you know, fucks the whole thing. We what if what if it went some crazy like, you know, Kendall versus uh, Roman type shit. Someone actually put, pointed out a great thing on Reddit where they were like, uh, uh, Kendall was there for Roman when Logan hit Roman, but then. Uh, when Roman was egging Kendall on to hit him and Kendall walked away, <clears throat> he did the shittiest thing and like hit him. You know? Yeah, that's fair. That whole... I thought that was an accident. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah, I think it, it kind of a... seemed to me like he didn't mean to like push him all the way over. Yeah, that was pretty shitty, especially at his own party. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, And everyone saw him yeah. in that state. Like... Mm-hmm. The vulnerable state of being on the fucking ground at your own party. Take off your coat. <clears throat> yeah. That was pretty funny. Take off your coat. Yeah. The, he, he actually, the the dude who plays Con, uh, Con he, fu- he actually fucked his arm up. That's why they wrote that in. No way, really? Yeah. yeah, he's like, I fucked my shit up, and so they had to. What did he do? Um, He didn't say. Hmm. Jerking off too hard? There it is. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I was pounding off way too hard. He's actually probably uh, so much like stopping himself from puking yeah. from all the sex he yeah. had. Yeah. No, from all the jerking off he does. <laughs> <laughs> I just jerk to puke. <laughs> I just come to puke. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Sash, next, ne- this season, I'm curious to see how the fuck they're going to wrap it up. I know. I have no idea where this is going to go. <sighs> no idea. It's trying to make you ready for season four. I you know I think inevitably it's it's hard to beat the first two seasons. I don't think this season is as good as the other ones. Yeah, it's a little it's a little bit weirder. It's just not as like it it seems like it's moving way faster. Like they're advancing time between each episode faster. Yep. And it just seems like they're jumping they're like taking a lot of shortcuts. Like yep. the last episode with the picking the new president thing, it's like this is just such a beeline towards like getting out of this plot 
hole that you guys have put yourselves in, which yeah. is like Logan's fucked. Yeah. It's like, oh no, actually he's just going to pick the new president. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, maybe it'll come together and you're like, holy. <clears throat> yeah. No, which I think holy. it probably will. But I'm more excited for Mr. Beast remake afterwards. <laughs> About which one of his friends is going to take over his channel. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoever eats this whole jar oh. of poop will get to take over my channel. <laughs> Perverse games. <laughs> um, Guys, thank you for tuning in. And ladies, uh, whatever you are. Uh, guys is gender neutral. Thanks for tuning in for another riveting episode of the podcast make sure you tune in for the bone zone over there at patreon.com slash tiny meat gang um don't forget to like this video and like this video on youtube if you're watching yeah and on itunes if you're listening or on spotify leave us a little review that always helps us and also merch tmgpod.com yeah and what do we got coming up in the bone zone um i have a uh <laughs> i have a crustacean murdering tiktok that good I think we'll hit home for you. Okay, good. Oh, we're going to watch this metaverse one. Yeah. A woman shoots her own vagina. Uh, we have a woman on TikTok who sells farts, and she does like a little day in the life of someone who sells farts. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. She jars her farts and then sells them. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that sick? What? <laughs> yeah, right. Cash is like, what? I've never, I've never bought one of those. Yeah, I've, I've never had one um, shipped to my... Uh, yeah. Sorry, what? What? Oh, and Matthew McConaughey uh, officially like running for governor of Texas, I think, or something. I didn't watch Hell it, yeah, but dude. with volume, yet. Pickle so. Mac. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Pickle Mac. All right, guys. So, yeah, tune in, and we'll see you. Oh, I'm going to puke. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And that's it for the most racist podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time everybody. <laughs>